Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm really excited today to try my hand at growing mushrooms. So I found these kits in a local shop about five minutes from my house and I've been wanting to try mushroom kits for a really long time. So I have two kinds. I have oyster mushrooms and I have shiitake mushrooms, which is the one we're going to start with. And I did read the directions on the back of the box last night and lucky I did because it said for the shiitake mushrooms that they needed to be in the fridge for 24 hours before starting the process. So I just took them out now. That is step one, cold shock. So step two, and I'm reading word for word here, remove the block from the fridge and drop it on a table from a height of 12 inches to send a small shock through the block. This simulates a tree falling down in the forest. Okay. So that's about 12 inches. Bounces apparently. All right. So that was step two. Step three, cut open the plastic bag to expose the block. Leave a two inch section of the bag around the bottom. Okay. These are my clippers. I did clean them. There is liquid at the bottom of the bag. I'm assuming that's normal. Okay, I don't wanna poke a hole in this, so I'm gonna go down from the top. <laughs> I think real scissors are gonna work better. <laughs> there, much better. The block is made of sawdust and wheat bran, which are byproducts of industry. So they've produced this using an otherwise, what would have been a waste material, which I love that. And I do know that mycelium would be all of this white fungi stuff that is going to grow into mushrooms. Step four, find a good spot for your block to live for the next few weeks. Ideally on a countertop or shelf in the most humid part of your house. I suppose a bathroom would be a good place. I think I'm gonna leave them right here. This spot gets no direct sunlight and it's only about 10 feet from the kitchen and we cook a lot. So there's a lot of humidity coming out of the kitchen. This kit includes a plastic bag. Yes, it does. It also includes this cute little spray bottle, which I found last night when I took the block out to put it in the fridge. So I already have that filled up with water. Roll the opening of the bag like a pant leg and stand it over the block. Set the block on a plate with a piece of damp paper towel underneath. Okay. Roll it up like a pant leg. Oh, and there's holes in it. So I guess we're going for controlled humidity. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I have to find some sort of a dish to sit this in. So I spent a couple of minutes looking through my kitchen cupboards for a dish. And then I thought, well, why don't I just use a clean seedling tray? It's not like I don't have about a hundred. There we go. And I might as well use this. So they... There we go. From here on in, the directions for both kits are pretty much the same. So I'm going to put them on the same tray. Step six, for the first three days, spray the block directly to soak the surface of the block one to two times daily. That looks fairly soaked. And then we put this thing over the top. So all that is going to keep that atmosphere really humid in there. And this is a nice warm spot for it to sit. All right, kit number two. 
Oyster mushrooms. Open the box and take out your block. It should be almost entirely white. This one I have not opened yet. Oh, that is white. There's another bottle. Yes, it is almost entirely white. Okay, what next? Step two, keeping the block inside the bag, cut one long four inch slit across the bag. The picture shows it going diagonally. Try pulling the plastic away from the block when cutting the slits to prevent damaging the block. Okay. <laughs> Can I undo this tape? No. I don't know if this is going to be possible. I need another tool. Four inch long. Oh, there we go. Oh, it smells like mushrooms already. Mmm. Okay, step three. Find a good spot for your block to live for the next few weeks. Okay, so after this step, the instructions are pretty much the same. The shiitake mushroom says to soak thoroughly twice a day for the first three days and then mist once. The oyster mushrooms just say to mist underneath the bag. So take this off and give it a mist once a day. Yeah, mist the inside of the tent. It does not say to mist through the slit. So let me turn this around so you can see what I did here. A diagonal slit this way, which is exactly what it showed on the instructions. And presumably the mushrooms are gonna come through the slit. I am tempted to try to put a slit on the other side too, but it does not say to do that. So I'm going to follow the instructions. Um, I'm also gonna turn them this way because maybe they grow towards the light. And I, I wanna try to do this properly. Mist. I'm misting on top of a plastic bag, but I suppose the humidity is more important. I rolled it up too much. There. So other than a little bit of daily misting, that's it. And I'm excited to see the results because I've always wanted to give this a try. So I picked up these kits locally. They cost $25 Canadian. I am in Canada. And it does say that it will produce between two and five flushes of mushrooms each. I don't know how big each flush is going to be. So it'll be interesting to see if we get anywhere close to $25 worth of mushrooms out of each of these kits. And I'll be sure to do an update and show you the progress of these as they start to grow. So that's all for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.